Hi, this is Morgan from Dream Nest Realty. We help home buyers find the perfect property in Vancouver. Do you have a minute to chat about what you're looking for in your next home? Okay, yeah, I do. Great, can I start by getting your full name and the best phone number to reach you at? Yeah, so my phone number is 778-604-0000. And my name is Eric. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate that. Where are you looking to buy a property? Are you focused on Vancouver or are you open to surrounding areas? Yeah, so I'm looking to buy my nest property in Vancouver, BC. Got it. Vancouver it is. Do you have a budget range in mind for your home purchase? So my budget is roughly around 300K to 500K. Thanks for sharing that, Eric. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are you ideally looking for? Uh, Roughly around three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Thanks for that information. One last question. Have you already been approved for a mortgage? Yes, I have. Thanks, Eric. Based on what you've shared, it looks like you're a great fit for what we offer. However, I noticed that your budget is below our minimum of $800,000. We specialize in helping clients who are pre-approved for a mortgage and looking in the Vancouver area with a minimum budget of $800K. I'd still be happy to send you some resources or reconnect if your situation changes. Would you like that? Yeah, that'd be great. Perfect. I can definitely send you some resources that may help you in your home search. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today, Eric. If anything changes, feel free to reach back out. Awesome. So what we just saw is a voice AI assistant that I created for helping businesses to take any inbound or outbound calls. So to create our assistant, first what we do is we create our VAPI account. And once we create our VAPI account, then we're going to navigate to the dashboard and click on create assistant. And here we have the different options. So we can create from blank or we can choose the options from the quick start. So we can choose from lead qualification, appointment scheduler, customer support, information collector. But in that case, I'm just gonna use the lead qualification because I'm helping a real estate business to qualify leads. Now let's take a look at the existing voice AI system that I created. So here's the prompt and you can see that this is the prompt that I set, which is doing lead qualification for real estate. And inside of this prompt, you can see that we have conversation flow, which is how the voice AI assistant should navigate through in the conversation. So things like the introduction, what it starts, as well as lead information collection. So things like what are the information we need to collect from the lead, like name, target locations, budget expectations, number of bedrooms or bathrooms and such. So then once we collect all those informations, then it's time for us to do the qualification assessment. So for the qualification assessment, you can see that these are the requirements or criteria that we set. So once we meet those things, then our voice agent Morgan is going to trigger a tool called add customer. Okay. Which is what we see here at this point, trigger the add customer tool. So after all the criteria has met, this is what we're going to do. We're going to instruct the voice assistant to trigger this function. And the goal for this function is to pass the following fields and basically add them to the customer table. Now, if you were to look at our table or database, this is what it looks like. So you can see that we have our customer table and this is the lead that we just inserted into this table. So in this table, you can see we have our phone number, the name of the lead, as well as the location, the budget, the mortgage approved, bathrooms or bedrooms, right? Number of bathrooms or number of bedrooms. So that this way the sales agents can be able to use this table to send follow-ups, right? So now let's talk about how we can be able to trigger this ad customer tool inside of VAPI. So here inside of tools in VAPI, there is a create tool section. So here you can see there's create tool. Then I go ahead and create a function. And here I basically name this function called add customer and inside of add customer function, you can see that we provide the tool name, the description. And once I provide the name and the description, there's also parameters. So these are the parameters that we pass to the tool function trigger. So I basically create a NAN workflow and it's going to be a webhook that listens for any upcoming request. And we're going to pass those parameters, name, phone numbers, budgets, bedrooms, these kind of informations to the webhook that's going to trigger the workflow. And there's also the server settings. The server settings here is gonna be the NAN URL for the workflow. And here inside of our NAN workflow, this is gonna be the entire workflow that we have for our customer. So we have our webhook and also we have our super base. So whenever there's a request being triggered, it's going to catch that request from the webhook and the webhook is gonna pass that information to the super base to add the record to the customer table. Awesome. So now if we were to click into the Superbase node, you can see that these on the left is the input from the webhook. 
For example, these are names, phone numbers, and here inside in the middle, we have our uh, create operations, right? And we also have our customer table. That's gonna be the table that we're gonna insert the records. And then once we define the table on where to insert, then these are the fields that we're gonna add onto the database. So on the right, you can see this is the output. That's exactly the same as what we have inside of our database. And of course, back to Vapi, make sure inside of the assistant for the tools, make sure to mention the add customer for the tools so that the assistant have the ability to access this tool, right? So, or trigger this tool whenever the prospect is qualified. And of course, if you're not satisfied with the voice, you can always change that in the voice configuration. So here I'm using Harry for the male version voice, but you can also change different gender, uh, different age for the voice settings. And here for the providers, you can also change it to 11 labs. So I have a video, up, I will link it in the description below, but I also mentioned how you can be able to clone your voice using 11 labs so that you actually be able to sound exactly like the clone version of the voice. So basically you can see that there's many options we can choose here. All right, so now you know exactly how the voice agent works, how it's able to add data into the database or the CRM, or how we can be able to change the voice configurations. But I think what we care about the most is how we can be able to have this voice AI assistant integrated with our phone numbers or phone calls to take any inbounds or outbound calls, right? So in that case, let me show you how to do that. So here inside phone numbers, you can see that we can be able to import from Twilo or any other third party SMS service. But for simplicity, I'm just gonna use Vabi to create a free phone number that we can use to take any inbounds or any outbound calls. So here in that case, I'm just gonna click on create phone number here. So then the first step here is basically setting up the area code for the free Vapi phone number. So here I'm gonna change it to 360, which is a Washington phone number from US. So once we change the area code, you can see that we do have a phone number created and you can see that it takes it might take some time to activate the phone number. Okay, so once the phone number is activated, as you can see here, then what we can do is we can set the inbound phone number, which is the default phone number. So let's try to test the inbound phone number first, which basically means that we can be able to call this number, right? And be able to engage with the voice AI assistant. So let's try that. So in that case, I'm just gonna copy this phone number and I'm gonna call this on my phone and I'm gonna use the service called TextNow, which is a free service for calling. And I'm gonna use that to call this number to engage with the AI voice assistant. So let's see how this works by calling it. This is Morgan from Dream Nest Realty. We help home buyers find the perfect property in Vancouver. Do you have a minute to chat about what you're looking for in your next home? Yeah, I do. Great, I'd love to ask a few quick questions to understand what you're looking for. Can I start by getting your full name and the best phone number to reach you? Uh, yeah, my name is Eric and my phone number is 123-456-7890. Thanks, Eric. Got it. Now, where are you looking to buy a property? Are you focused on Vancouver or are you open to surrounding areas? Yeah, I'm focused in, in Vancouver, yes. That makes sense. Thanks for sharing that. Now, do you have a budget range or maximum price in mind for your home purchase? Yeah, so my budget now is $1 million, yes. Thanks for that information, Eric. Just a couple more questions. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are you ideally looking for? Uh, looking for four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Got it. Four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Now, have you already gotten mortgage approval or are you still in the process? Yeah, so I'm still in the process and still not approved yet. Thanks for sharing that, Eric. I appreciate your honesty. At the moment, we specialize in helping clients who are pre-approved for a mortgage and looking in the Vancouver area with a minimum budget of $800K. I'd still be happy to send you some resources or reconnect if your situation changes. Would you like that? Uh, wait, I just got a notification that my mortgage has, has been approved. That's great news, Eric. Congratulations on getting your mortgage approval. So just to recap, you're looking for a property in Vancouver with a budget of $1 million and you want four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Since you meet our criteria, it sounds like you're a great fit for what we offer. One of our experienced agents will reach out to you within the next 48 hours to help you take the next step in your home search. Is there a particular time of day you prefer to be contacted? Yeah, so I'm looking maybe roughly around like noon-ish. Wait, hold on a second. 
I'm looking for maybe before before twelve thirty. Yeah, before twelve twelve thirty p.m. is fine. Yeah. Got it, Eric. So you'd prefer to be contacted before twelve thirty p.m. Thank you for sharing that. I'll make sure to pass along all your information. One of our agents will reach out to you within the next forty eight hours. We're excited to help you find your next home in Vancouver. If you have any other questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You too. Take care. Bye. You're welcome, Eric. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye. And of course, you can also be able to make any outbound calls. So you can specify a number and have this VAPI free number call directly to this number for testing. So for example, you can call one phone numbers or you can also be able to call many phone numbers by uploading a CSV. So here we can be able to specify the assistant and also here you can be able to make schedule calls by calling the outbound call later or you can also make a call right away. Okay, so there's a few options we can choose.